welcome back to my channel my name is Esther K and if you're joining us for the very first time you are more than welcome but please before you exit this video do not forget to hit that subscribe button because it helps my channel grow and I just really want to grow this family so please do comment because also by by reading your comments I would know whether you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out um, and I look a bit ashy but anyway, it's fine. So today on my channel, I have a very special guest. Some of you know her, some of you do not know her. And I know some of you are very curious to find out who she is. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi guys, my name is Launa. Some call me Pastor Launa. Yeah, and I'm Esther's mom, biological okay. mother. Okay, what do you do? Okay, I'm a pastor, I'm a business person, and um, I'm just a new YouTuber. And yeah, and I'm also a motivational speaker, a counselor. Mm -hmm. So what's your YouTube name, like the handle? Uh, my YouTube name is God's Favorite. God's Favorite. God's Favorite. Yeah, and on Instagram, I'm Pastor, Pastor Launa. Yeah, that's my name on Instagram. All right, guys. And on Facebook, I'm, yeah, Pastor Launa Garosas. Yeah. All right. So guys, um, I will write down her um, as she mentions it, I'll just write it down on the screen just in case you you would not know how to spell it. So please do do rush down to her social media platforms just so that you follow her, you show her some love and um, help her YouTube channel grow mm -hmm. as well because she shares all things health. Um, she shares all things motivational, lifestyle, all those good stuff. She mm -hmm. shares the word of God. Mm -hmm. So if you like what I put on my channel, you will definitely like what she puts on her channel so in today's video um it won't really be long i'll be giving her some few questions that she will be answering mm -hmm. my mom gave birth to me when she was 17 years old so mm -hmm. i just want her to kind of share the experience from whatever she remembers you know with people out there who might have had the same experience as her mm -hmm. so um if you like this kind of stuff or this kind of q and a's this video is definitely for you and if you're out there and you're young and you gave birth at a young age you know um i'm sure that you'll find very very great um encouragement in this video and that you will know that it is not the end of the world mm -hmm. um for you look at me i'm here you know <laughs> so yeah. yeah so let us go back mm -hmm. to 1990 mm -hmm. um wednesday mm -hmm. 26 of july mm -hmm. um that's actually not that's the day i was born mm -hmm. but the day you found out you were pregnant yeah what was the experience like? You were 17, you know, like, just tell us more uh, about just, yeah, take it away. Like mm -hmm. what was, what was going on in your head? You know, were there any plans you had? Did you feel like, you know, f falling pregnant at that age kind of mm -hmm. disrupted some plans? How did Ma, uh, grandma react? Mm -hmm. How did your friends react? Did you lose some friends? Did you, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, like in short, um, okay. I'm a third born. Okay. Of. Uh, five siblings mm -hmm. and um, you know m uh, mom suffered of depression and you know when you're a child and you grow up in a house uh, with a lot of depression and you have some dominant siblings mm. so at the end of the day you you kind of get just get in a corner and mm. when you get in a corner you start to long for um, acceptance people who can just accept you can just be with you mm -hmm. and it happened to be my friends mm -hmm. and um I think growing up in our house, okay, there's one, some values that mom had. Mm -hmm. She loved God. We grew up among, you know, in a, let me say in the, in the church. Mm. But then the pressure was too much as a child. Um, yeah. There was a lot of beating, a lot of challenge here. Yeah. Yeah. So I found myself with friends and, you know, friends would be like, let's go here, let's go here. Mm -hmm. And that faithful day, these friends just said, let's go. There's uh, uh, some guy there. He said he loved you and so yeah. on. And it's our days is not like today. Today yeah. kids know about love, they know about sex and those kind of things. Mm. For you when somebody tell you love you, you just feel to be one it will just be a guy that we bang for you sweets, yeah, chocolates, chips. Mm. But then that faithful day when I went to this guy's house, there was nothing like proposing whatsoever. Mm. My friends just left me there and the next thing when I saw is like the guy just, you know, like I I can call it rape because it was, you know, sex without my consent and yeah. You cannot scream. He will tell you. He told you if you scream, you know he's going to kill you. This way, the words they were using. So and who want to die? Mm. So and then, 
uh, because I got saved when I was 12. Mm -hmm. So there was this gifting of knowing, or I was also born with it, this... And then suddenly I just knew. Somebody just told me you are pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. So basically and I was a product of rape. Yes. So, mm -hmm. and then I, I knew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I knew then from that day mm. fear started. But thank God I did not, nothing of abortion came. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. On my mind. So mm. basically that's, that is what happened on that faithful day. And yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you found out you were pregnant. Um, due to the spiritual gift that you had, you mm -hmm. knew, like yeah. you didn't actually, there were no really uh, visible signs mm -hmm. or anything, you just knew. Yeah. All right, so how did you tell your mother, how did you, did you, did you allow her to find out herself or how was it um, telling a grandma that you were pregnant? Yeah, so as I said, I was like this child, you know, where everybody knew it, you know, I was an innocent child yeah. and, and also I was naive. The reaction of grandma is, as I said, Mm. Somebody was guiding us, so this person had to give the message to Ma, mm -hmm. and uh, but she didn't. Mm. But I came back after the whole thing. Mm. I came back to Arandes, mm. and still Ma Ma did not. Who actually delivered the news? You or was it someone who yeah, went it, to know, tell the, the, the type it of on your behalf? The rules at home, the lifestyle at home. There was no way Mom would ex expect me to to have fallen pregnant or having a boyfriend. Okay. So it's a it's an auntie that lived with us, and then she told my Mom. I see the uh, I see the um, yeah. loner's body is changing. Yeah, and uh, mom was like, "No, there's no way my daughter can fall pregnant." Okay. So and Ooh. then she mm. said, "Can you just let me show some signs?" So the auntie let me lay on the mm. bed, and she did what mm -hmm. she did. Yeah, mm. massage and whatsoever, and then mm. that's how they discover I was pregnant. And, I, and I'm sure. How far along were you? Do you remember? Maybe four months. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I don't think any mother would. I think she went through a shock. Yeah. Yeah. Number one, I'm young. Who is the father? May who would be the father? How would she look after this? And she was also young by then, and yeah, this whole thing that she yeah, opened, yeah, mm, okay. But and of course, you're not the you're not mischievous. You're not the type of girl who went around with men. Yeah. And how it also happened, mm -hmm. she was raped. It wasn't with her consent. So clearly, that um, shows why grandma was shocked because um, as far as she mm -hmm. she held her at a very high what pedal stone i mm -hmm. mean pedal is it pedestal pedal stone i don't know correct mm -hmm. me in the comment section so oh, okay so she was in shock so after now she found out and how long did it take her to actually process and just you know now start like embracing it that oh you're now pregnant and yeah how long did it take her to now be maybe advising you oh don't do this don't you know this job is too maybe heavy for you or eat this and in that when did she now just accept it when did acceptance come from her end yeah uh, uh, i think uh, before i answer that this mm. is what many teenage people or ch uh, girls go through mm. they jump to a conclusion like let me abort maybe okay. my mother will de do this the society mm. will not accept me mm. and i went through the same thing i okay. I, I remember uh, uh, dodging out of the house because I was afraid what how what mom would say. Oh, you concluded. I concluded, mm. but then after mom was told by that auntie, mm. uh, really, if there's a, a part uh, that I really I, I'm forever grateful and I continue treating pregnant people like she treated me, mm. uh, there was never a time I felt rejected right yeah mm. because at that very moment she started taking care of me mm. asking what do you want to eat but then That's she was grandma mm -hmm. okay but the reaction is she was furious with that person yeah because she was furious and with she really person the, my father now yeah the okay. father and then uh, mm -mm. yeah mm. there was also some other drama with the uncle you know mm. so and then she felt like okay she has to go and report them at mm. the police station and they have to pay support and they have to take care of you and yeah, she was a tough cookie. You, 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 you were, I say, what is the English word? Mm -hmm. Mom was a type you were not, uh, she was a tough cookie. Yeah, you could not mess with her child. She yeah. would deal with you. So basically, right now, we are going to do a separate video on, um, uh, on rape. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, seeing that I was a result of rape and there's just like deeper stories. Mm -hmm. um, of course, it depends if my mom is comfortable at the right time. Just also that how, just so that she shares um, how to come up out of this because mm -hmm. rape can really play, take a toll on yeah, you as exactly. a person. Mm -hmm. So if we have to cover that in this video, it will be so lengthy. Mm -hmm. So um, just in case some of you would have wanted her to go deeper, 
but then we'll do a separate video or maybe she'll do that video on her channel and then i will just you know post her, the link on i think she, she will do it on her channel and then i'll post the link on my social media platforms just so that like i said if you like what i post on my channel you'll definitely like what she posts okay so grandma started embracing it and mm -hmm. she started telling me what to do what not to do what to mm -hmm. eat and what not to okay coming to when i was born mm -hmm. how how was the entire experience of being a young mom now because you've never been a mom before and of mm -hmm. course you've taken care of your younger sister so you had mm -hmm. an idea of taking care of a baby yeah, taking so was it a was there a difference in taking care of your own mm -hmm. and your little sister? Yeah, ex yeah, there was a difference because mm. you you are a sibling taking care of a sibling, right? Mm. Uh, whereby this sibling's mother, who's your mother, mm -hmm. come and baby, uh, uh, I mean, uh, feed has a responsibility yeah. as well. But mm. now this is your own. You have to carry. Mm -hmm. You carried. You breastfeed. Yeah. Yeah. You you sleep. Mm. Uh, in the night to let them burp and so on yeah mm -hmm. all the responsibilities definitely like it's yours yes mm. Mm -hmm. yeah so um how was that experience okay the experience number one you go through rejection mm. and uh sometimes uh, and, and, and 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 my siblings especially my elder sister did not really take it very well my elder brother yeah but uh i thank god for my half brother my father's son who is also late now yeah he came and he called at me and said, what you did was wrong, but don't worry, I'm going to take care of you. Right. And mm. yeah, he did it. And yeah. So, and then my he other brother. He took care of you financially or mm, emotionally? No, okay. Those days, I think if you give me money, I'll just go and buy chocolate, but he would be buying okay. milk and financial. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So, yeah, the experience was, uh, okay, I went through rejection, the community. Some would be like, how is she going to give birth to the child? Is she going to vomit? out the child or is she going to pull the child can you those kind of words that Why people would they post such it's because people just feel that when a, a teenage uh -uh. teenage girl yeah mm. so they just feel that this person maybe just felt pregnant because she's too sh uh, sexual active or she's they they, they always have this uh, uh, wrong perspective toward uh, teenage mm. mothers oh okay yeah so the community uh rejects you and they call you names but there's one thing that god had uh, gave me i yeah. There was an excitement. Wow, the baby! I just want to meet this person in the stomach. Yeah. And uh, when I'm taking her baby close, and I'll be like, I'll be putting on the bed. I'll be yeah. communicating with her. Mm. But then there was that this particular day where I dreamt. Yeah. Apparently, uh, I went to the bathroom and the 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 a blood clot came out of me. Yeah. And my mind was telling me, yeah. "It's your baby." And I just I prayed because oh. I believe the devil has been trying to abort. <laughs> you yeah. sense, but at the end of the day, I, uh, I think the acceptance of mom, yeah, uh, gave me the courage to move on, and also my some of my family members, my aunties, yeah, yeah. So I thank God I come from a family of mothers. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the the love and the support that you received from um, family and maybe some friends mm -hmm. that made the experience at least better. Yeah. Yes. Apart from mm -hmm. the sleepless nights mm -hmm. now in the. Dreams. The rejection from yeah. the baby's father. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. By the way, uh, my my father denied me at birth. Mm -hmm. That's another story. Like I said, just head over to her channel. She'll have so many. She'll make a lot of videos mm -hmm. in line with that mm -hmm. um, because it was more of an experience. So I think it's just fair enough that she shares it on her own channel. Mm -hmm. um, so just by her answer it's very important mm -hmm. to be surrounded by people that actually care and love you but then there are people who actually don't experience this you know some people don't have that mm -hmm. so when you do have that apart from the rejection and all the other negative stuff do not forget to thank god for people like that because it's so easy to go through what she went through and satan will cover your eyes from the blessing that you have like even mm -hmm. if it's one person it's so easy for you not to see that as a blessing mm -hmm. and you just focus more on the rejection mm -hmm. and you know this man who raped me mm -hmm. um is not in support of this child and mm -hmm. that so that's just an encouragement on its own learn to see also the blessings of the lord in the storm mm. what word do you have out there for teenage girls who fell pregnant is it the end of the world mm -hmm. Can they still dust themselves and get up and do what they were called or purposed to do? Yeah, what I want to encourage you is that um, uh, you can still, there is hope. And uh, the good thing is when you have, 
you know it's yes your child is not a mistake but maybe the way in you the way it has happened yeah happened that is what is a yeah mistake. that is yeah because you can you can uh, uh, find a seed that has fallen probably on a rocky and it might bear fruit yeah mm. so yeah so um just uh if you are in school just uh, uh, dust yourself off go back to school mm. and uh you know and, and mothers also don't be like uh, uh, you know mom had a challenge when i wanted to go back to school mm. i believe a principal who's retired now mm. told me you cannot come to school go and baby feed you understand this is a person who's killing your Best dream feed, yeah, yeah. Mm. and then your mom will tell you a different story you understand so mothers we, we you know you must support because teenage mother does not mean she felt pregnant because her dreams has come to an end it is just a beginning of another experience so love yourself embrace the child you are now pregnant you know people call you name sometimes you go through the rejection of the father of the baby yeah and sometimes you are just nice lovey davis and now that you are pregnant they don't want to take responsibility mm -hmm. don't go and abort whatsoever mm. just forgive the person and move on right. sometimes it's a family member that mm. call you names and mm. so on just forgive and you move on mm. and just expand your dream to accommodate you and your now a uh, baby yeah mm -hmm. okay so um uh, you heard <laughs> from the horse's mouth that if you felt pregnant under any circumstance and you're mm -hmm. a teenager, um, maybe you're about to finish school or you're not yet down with school. Um, it is not the end of the world. Dust yourself and just start from where you have ended or mm -hmm. yeah, just start. It's, it's never too late mm -hmm. for as long as you have breath in your, in your is it nostrils or in your mm -hmm. lungs, they still hope. Um, I believe that there are some people that are in the grave now that wish they could be given a second chance on earth mm -hmm. so that they use this time wisely. So for as long as you are alive, mm -hmm. there is still chance for you to start all over again. Mm -hmm. So um, how did you how did you break the news to my father that you were pregnant? Like, yeah, how, how did you break it to him? Okay. And uh, what was his reaction? Because okay. you guys were dating, right? Mm. But he did not ask for permission. No, I think or he was pursuing you. You had not said yes yet. Yeah, I think pursuing, but without my consent, because just friends came. They'll be like, "This." I used to know. Oh, so it's one of those connecting situations. Yes. They, they were setting you up. Mm -hmm. Or and you didn't have the chance to even see whether you liked him. Yeah, but I just, so I just, I just knew that was a, a guy in our street called it, this yeah. person. And then people were like, "Ah, no, he kind of likes you." Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah. there was no proposing yet. Mm -hmm. You're still seeing. Mm -hmm. So, and then all of this just happened. Like, yeah. all right. Okay. So what was his reaction and how did you come about telling him? Okay. I think... Was uh, it over the phone? Was it in person? <laughs> there was no phones those days. Okay. okay. Guidelines. Yeah. They mm. were... Okay. But not cell phone. Mm. Yeah. Okay. As I said, friends took me to his place and then what happened, happened. And when he was told by some of the elders... Okay, so you didn't go straight to him. Mm -mm. You first went to the elders. Yeah, when you are pregnant, you don't go straight to the guy because chances of rejecting you, they are, are very high. Yes. Okay. So they sent parents, and even in front of the parents, he denied and said he, oh. he never Defiled met me. You. Uh. Yeah, he never met me. Okay. Less of defiling. Sure. Yeah, so, and then he stood on that, and uh, so when I gave birth to you, I think after three weeks he came okay. and he said, I know this is my baby, look at the hands, look at the feet, but I'm just going to reject you because of A, B, C, D. Oh, wait. So he actually, there was a point where he accepted me. Yes. But because he felt he wasn't in a position to father any child. Yes. He, wow. Okay. Yeah. So that was his, um, that was his reaction. Mm -hmm. mm. So then I think uh, mom took care of us, the two of us. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, yeah. Okay. salute her mm. and it is after 13 years again i just had a vision that da 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 and i sent people to the north i said i think in this house a vision came and yeah. i heard his name my 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 father's name yeah on the, just like a light appeared on the wall and i just heard his then i i asked the lord what do you mean and i heard the voice say again now is the time to meet him all right so yeah. by the way for those we just didn't clarify it in this video my mom you're 17 
Yes. Were you turning 17 or you Turning were? 17. And my mom got married at 20. So yes. that's just part of, you know, showing you that there is the second chance. Yes. And you are not, you d it's not that you lose your value mm -hmm. when you feel uh, fall pregnant mm -hmm. at 17. Yeah. It's life goes on life goes on all right so the the name got dropped into your spirit mm -hmm. yeah and then uh and, and and things just happen god has you know he's a good planner right it was a time where there was an event in the north and people were going to the north yeah and uh i sent my young sister i said ah, this is a vision i got and this is what i hear yeah. take these two pictures to this particular house and yes. ask for this person mm. and then when they come there with those pictures yeah and uh, naturally, I sounded crazy, but my young sister is born again, and the other people I sent, they could understand. Yeah. So when they came there, so my young sister called, mm. and she said, Melona, mm. I can see Esther all over in this house. Is that Erica? Yeah. Oh, okay. Every person that passed, I see Esther. And then she said, Esther doesn't look like us. She looked like these people. Like these people, yeah. And then I just got that piece. Right. That and you were knew, mature, yeah. right? And not mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. Okay, so 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 it was time for me to meet him. Did he accept me immediately, or was he still in denial? Uh, I think yeah. Because I wasn't most now. The I came when everything was already negotiated and said. Yeah. So what was his reaction? Uh, the reaction, I I, I guess, um, when when a man give pregnant you in a, in a certain way, they still have that thing of looking down upon you. Mm. So he was having this attitude. Yeah, it's not my child. Yeah, she looks like me, but. And, and then I, 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 the reaction was, and then the father, your grandfather, mm. apparently just came and like beat him on the chest and said, if you don't want this child, I will take this child because this is my blood. Right. This is how you looked when you were young. Mm. So, and he knew, I don't know why he just felt like he was in charge and he can just reject you the way. Yeah. And then later on, yeah. Later on, I know him now. Um, mm -hmm. and, and you even got the honor. He named you after, actually, the elder brother said, this one is our blood, and we are going to name her after our mother. Mm. So in our culture, it's an honor. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that's, okay, that's great. So I got to meet my dad, and of course, there are a lot of resemblances. We look alike. I, I Yes, as, as time grows and I started bathing and started doing makeup, I kind of started looking like my mom. But when I was really young, I did not look anything like my mom. But of course, people who would meet me, because since she's the only closest person, they mm -hmm. will always say, ah, they will try to find, this one looks like you. I mean, it's just natural of someone who has not seen my biological father to think I look like, but I really didn't. But as I started growing, people started seeing my mom in me a bit so but yeah so that's basically how i got to meet my father I yeah, but can you remember we went to Ongodiva, a friend yes. of mine mm -hmm. we went to sleep at her place mm. and uh, your father you had to come and meet you yeah and uh, i i was in oshakati and oh. she called me she said pastor launa pastor launa no this child doesn't look like you right. this child look like the father yeah so i actually do look like my dad um even the complexion as well so um yeah so that's how i got to meet my dad i met my dad for the first time when mm -hmm. i was 13 years old mm -hmm. um uh, and how has the relationship been that's another video on its own for another time mm -hmm. otherwise this video will be very very lengthy thank you so much for watching i do not know do you have any last words okay the last word is that i forgave him and mm. we are like siblings thank you so much for watching please like i said do not forget to subscribe like mm -hmm. comment and share this video with anybody who might find it helpful i know you know a friend a friend of a friend a cousin a sister who might just need to hear what was shared in mm -hmm. this video mm -hmm. i'll really really appreciate it and like i said please do engage in the comment section i mm -hmm. want to know what your thoughts are mm -hmm. on the content that i put out please do follow her on you on her youtube channel i will write it down here um so you know how it's spelled mm -hmm. and uh, please do tell leave her a comment on any of her videos and say that i sent you say esther brought me esther's channel brought me here just so that we know that you're really really going to follow um her so mm -hmm. okay um so i am grateful that i have her because imagine if, if i had aborted her only later to realize she was actually the only child that I had don't abort. Yeah. So you just never know what the future holds. Maybe God called you to just have one child. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But do not abort. Do not abort that child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Ciao, guys.
Bye.